Good morning, adventurers, and welcome to day three of our four-day Disney Dream Cruise. We're at Castaway Key, one of our favorite, everybody's favorite, who does Disney Disney cruises. So we're gonna get off. Gonna show you a little bit. We're gonna actually eat at Royal Palace for breakfast. Gonna do a little exploration of uh, Castaway Key. Probably too cold to get in the water because it is December. Actually, it's December 31st, last day of 2022. So we're going to also bring in the new year here uh, on the Disney Dream, which will be cool because we're going to get two days of firecracker, or two days of fireworks. So come along and join us for a Castaway Key day here aboard the Disney Dream. Found a hidden duck. Cruising duck. Cruising All right, duck. from East Peoria, Illinois, my own stopping grounds. Congratulations! Yay, from Dominique and Jameson. All right. This morning on Castaway Key Day, we're gonna eat at the Royal Palace breakfast. And this is the Royal Palace. All right, and here's what you get when you sit down at Royal Palace for breakfast. And you get your assortment of danishes, pastries, or chocolate chip. Muffins! Alright, so like we showed you on our first meal on the embarkation day, you have two choices, cabanas or, as we showed you, animator's palette. Well, we always like to do a breakfast while we're on the cruise, again at cabanas, like we showed you the other day, but today we're at Royal, Royal Palace. Just another sit-down, sort of leisurely breakfast, not hectic, but somebody waits on you here. And while we dine at Royal Palace for breakfast, this is the view. So this is a castaway key day, as I said before. A little bit of the island there. All right, what'd you get for breakfast here? Okay, I got some toast. Like a lot of toast. Like a lot of toast. And the rest and of the food is getting ready, okay? Thank you. And some melons. All right, what's your recipe for toast? Oh yeah, so first you take any piece of toast and you just peel the crust off. And, oh, and then, Butter. <laughs> I think this has been done before. It has. And then you take one end and you roll it. Dearest, what did you get? So I did a, an omelet. I added ham and cheese and a bunch of veggies. And then I asked for some bacon on the side and some pancakes, some chocolate chip pancakes, and they gave me more bacon. And then you can choose whatever you want to have in there. All right, bud, you got one of your favorites. I think it's called the Typhoon. Is it called the Typhoon? And it's got what? Peanut butter and jelly. And there we go. There's the Typhoon with some hash brown. Alright, and I got the world famous Eggs Benedict with Canadian bacon and a side of sausage. And a side of hash browns. Not sausage. And there's my Egg Benedict with the side of hash browns. Okay, say goodbye to 2022. Hello, New Year. Hello, Castaway Key. Oh, they still got the Christmas tree up. How cool. All right, we gotta get a picture of the ship here off of Castaway Key. I feel like this is our home away from home. This is not an official maritime cruise. The tree is still up at Castaway Key, love it. Owls. Be sure to bring them back on and you can get some water as well as some very cool coolers. And they are all still decked out in Christmas here at Castaway Key. Now we're coming up on Marge's Barges. This is where you do some of your island excursions. The uh, parasailing and the, well banana boat is actually on the other side, but fishing all that kind of stuff. And here's a good map before you get to the, the uh, cargo handling 
tram station here. So there's several of these maps kind of all around the island, but there actually is a map on the app itself. So I was looking at all of that this morning because um, Keegan's going to go to the team hideout and I wasn't exactly sure that what, where that was. So you can study it ahead of time if you want. And this is the tram station that takes you to Scuttles Cove and Castaway Beach. So what I was saying about the uh, tram, so Castaway uh, Beach stop, all right? That's where you have to get off if you're going to go to Serenity Bay, which is the adults only. So just so you know, you have to get off the tram that you take from uh, the handling, uh, cargo handling uh, tram stop, the first tram stop. And you have to get off there to go to the adults only beach, which hopefully we're going to do. So what's nice about walking is that sometimes there are characters here, like Donald and Daisy's been here before. And uh, so you can get some photo ops that are along the uh, pathway versus taking the tram. As many times we've been to Castaway Key, never noticed this, this uh, broken mass, I guess, sail. Nice view, the dream, looking back. All right, where are you headed, babe? <laughs> so the first stop is where you can drop kids off. So they actually have a kids club here on the island. And uh, you want to get rid of the kids. This is the place to do so, it. So Mount Rushmore, elevation, <laughs> population. And so here's where your first set of shops are. Things that you can only get here on Castaway Key. So don't think you could go on Disney.com and get this. You're not going to find specific stuff. Now there's some duplicate stuff. Like we've seen that um, Nemo bucket elsewhere but stuff I'm talking about just with castaway key on it you're only gonna find here at these shops and this is she sells and everything else all right two places you can eat here on the island cookies barbecue and cookies two and then there's an adult barbecue this is cookies one. all right so here's cookies barbecue this is the first one that you come to now we usually like cookies two for no particular reason other than a lot of people come here first and so Cookies 2 is not that busy. And of course you got your drinks over here. Just like at Cookies 2, you got your ice cream. All right, so as we're walking out here to uh, Pelican's, I call Pelican's Plunge Stop. It's actually the Castaway Key Beach Stop. Lots of chairs out there with umbrellas, which is nice. This is something we've never done here in the shade. So I guess they have some games. Looks like a checkerboard, pool table. Wow. Looks like a bumper table maybe? Or no, just regular pool, I guess. Oh, I know two kids who like Very that cool. Pool. Got some basketball hoops. Yeah. Ooh, there's ping pong Foosball over here. Foosball over here. So In the Shade is actually between the um, Scuttles Cove stop and the Castaway Beach stop. So In the Shade, let me show you what they've got. They've got a ping pong table couple foosball checkers. tables big checkers they've got regular pool is that I can't believe we've never been here as many times as we have been to castaway key we've never been to this and there's another big chest game over there you like playing chess all right playing some hoops into shade This is the second stop here at Pelican's Plunge. And this is where you then wait for the tram to go out to Serenity Bay. And another shop by the seashore. Some nice drink areas, as well as a little summertime freeze here. Like this cute picture of Olaf out here. How cute is that? The other thing I wanted to point out here, flippers and floats, flippers, floats. This is where you get your snorkel gear as well as your uh, raft rentals, you know, your uh, things like that. So you come here, flippers, floats. There's another place too as well, but this is one of the places here at Pelican. I should also mention that Pelican Plunge is where the 5K starts right here. And it's where the bike rental. And here's where you get the bike rentals. And back there is the... Um, Hideaway. Point out here at the second stop is where you get the island's uh, info booth, but this is where you check in for your cabanas too, right there.
let's go see what they got at Cookies 2. Well, we know what they got. We'll show you what they got. Cool, we come back on board here at Castaway Key and we got our official countdown. 10 minutes, 55, 10 hours, 55 minutes and 56 seconds to 2023. All right, we get one last little look here of the 2022 Disney Cruise Line sign before it probably will be taken down after midnight tonight. All right, so we're inching closer to 2023, just a little under seven hours. And we're waiting in line for Captain Mickey and Minnie, all decked out in their New Year's attire. Sure, we'll make it down there, but see Goof. Goof's in his tuxedo, all ready to bring in the New Year. I think I would have seen a bone of 2023 around uh, Pluto, but no go. At least not yet. Oh, how cute. Mickey and Minnie all dressed out for 2023. Oh, look how beautiful Tiana is. Just a little bit of slice of the entertainment here. She is very good. celebration they actually have two shows one is for the families uh, start at 7 30 and uh, that's for the ones who just aren't gonna make it well we're gonna try we're gonna give it to yeah. there's no fireworks the first show and then the last show uh, is at 11 30 to bring in the actual new year but we're gonna show you little snippets here of the first show and then uh, hang with us for the last show There's the countdown, the 8 o'clock countdown, 21 minutes, 43 seconds. tonight at Enchanted Garden. So our bread service tonight is a rosemary 
and Parmesan cheese brioche. Right there. Truffle butter dip. Sounds good. And regular butter. Mickey butter. So we all got a cheese souffle. We'll show that here in a second. And then Brielle and I got the white and green asparagus. And it comes with a tomato, I believe it's tomato bernays sauce. So I thought the souffle was actually awesome. That I think is a first. I don't ever remember that being, looking at my wife right now, I don't ever remember that being on the uh, Disney Cruise. That was delicious. Absolutely delicious. Let's see how they like the asparagus. So my dearest, how are you liking that uh, asparagus? Asparagus is really good if you like asparagus. Now people like you that will eat asparagus but only grilled asparagus probably won't like this. Um, I think the sauce that's on the side really elevates it. And the souffle was amazing. That was good, huh? Yes. Alright, Breezy Girl, you got some what? Pasta. Got some pasta and some fries, that's a little something. Keeks, what did you get? Probably not a surprise, but mac and cheese. Mac and cheese, mac and cheese. All right, my dearest, we both got the same thing. What did you we get? did, so I just wanna say this menu is really seafood heavy. Um, we are not really seafood eaters, so we did order the filet mignon, which comes with lobster, but they just left the lobster out for us. Alright, my dearest, you gotta go too. I haven't had this in a while. It's the molten lava cake. And it's kind of see melting into one another. Oh, I need to eat it. Because you brought in the new year in the right fashion. Got the Sunday. A new year Sunday. Looking good. Alright, and I got something new. I've never tried this before. Praline tart. And let me show that well. Breezy's already going to town on her Mickey bar. But uh, praline tart. And there's what that looks like. Looking good. Wow, I just have to say that praline tart was fabulous. I think that's one of the best desserts I've had uh, in the Disney Cruise dining uh, rotation. That is unreal. In fact, it's just, it's kind of rich, so it's a little bit difficult to finish the whole thing. I feel bad because it's so doggone good. So definitely recommend the praline tart. All right, I'm gonna bring in the new year. A rose.
right, so our, for our December 31st, we've got a slew of things here. A couple of chocolates. Swan, that say actually, yes, see there. Happy New Year. And we got a painting that was made for all of the, and all five, hey, cool, all five are counted for it. That's very cool. Um, specifically for 2000 New Year's or New Year's 2023 uh, sailings. That's pretty cool. And this is what they gave out to celebrate 2023. All right, so this is what we accomplished on New Year's Eve, our Castaway Key Day. And what a fun day. All right, so thank you for joining us on New Year's Eve as we took out 2022 and on to 2023. What a great way to celebrate the new year, except on a Disney cruise. That said, please subscribe, like, Hit that notification bell, we are up for adventure. Thanks for watching.